Oh, nice jab. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Gregor, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh. The shot's pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint, DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next Listen. round. Okay, you ready? Round two. Ready? Here we are, early round two. That's a big strike right there. Oh, perfect head kick there. And now he lands a combination. Oh, straight right. And they separate. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, and there's that patented McGregor left hand. They gotta bronze that left hand and put him in the Hall of Famers. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick, he's so active, you don't know when he's gonna throw that punch. Big kick lands. And they clinch. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control, he's got a ton of options. He did a great job securing that ankle pick, but he did not react fast enough to secure the top position. And just like that, back to his standing position, we'll see who has the advantage. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything. All right, the fighters are fighting out of the clinch here, and now we go to the ground. Beautiful trip there to get the takedown. Sweep the leg, Johnny! Oh, John, one guy's always paying attention. The other guy's going to take a point. Take a point like it gets to your boy, Johnny. And oh, 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 there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to move very fast. Discouraging as he gets right back up again. Trying to establish that jab once again. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Tried to wrestle offensively tonight, but that attempt did not work. We knew we'd see a commitment to trying to secure those takedowns. We did not anticipate him having to take this many attempts. How long until he gets discouraged? Beautiful punch. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round. Very useful here towards the tail end of the frame. Both fighters back to their feet now. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just misses with that one. Ten minutes in the books. All right, let us now look back at some of the highlights from that round, and there just aren't that many guys on this roster that can keep up this offensive wrestling pace over 15 or 25 minutes. But he's one of those guys. He is one of those guys that's able to continuously take you down even if you get up over and over. He has this ability to maintain that pace and pressure that he can wear his opponents down. That's why you see him get so many finishes as the fight progresses. Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Pick to get him down, we'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. McGregor gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Big punch from the clinch. Nice punch to the head. In 
continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, man, look at what that one body shot did. That showed you the power, and the power and the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. the takedown, no problem. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes. Wow! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Oh, straight right. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, what a shot. Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight grip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. All right, coming up next is the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. Some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Boy, tight clump. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Big head kick lands. Oh, beautiful hook. Just over two minutes to go in round one. What a punch. Liver and both guys really throwing with authority. Man, is he timing his shots well. Oh, he's out! Holy smokes! What a fight! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way, and in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop for this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mark Bokusha. 
Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check. Up next, it is a heavyweight collision between Paolo Costa and Sugar Sean O'Malley. now remain in the round. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. So he gets knocked down, but not out. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. A huge round on the other side. He had him hurt very bad. He found the shot. He got exactly what he wanted. When he saw the opening, he jumped on it, and he hurt his opponent very bad. If he can get back to that one more time, he may end the night. You ready to fight? Ready. Single collar tie now. Oh, man! What a fantastic strike. He right at the moment. He deserves this moment. Well finish this fight. All right, so a nice 
Nice job there defensively to raise. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, and he hip tosses him to the mat. Now we'll see what he can do from here, DC. Right into side control. He's going to try to control him, then find a solution. Position. Oh, liver shot right on the liver. Big liver shot. That is the most debilitating shot in all of fighting. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. Oh! Oh! A violent strike to the body. This could be the end. This fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Leg kick checked by Costas. That is it, referee has seen enough, and maybe so have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the win by TKO. That is one they'll be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, ref It is a heavyweight collision between Conor McGregor and Mark Jacasey. with that right hand. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh, straight right. That will land it clean. Oh, huge kick. Oh, man, it's hard. strikes and now landed for Conor McGregor. Nice punch there. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Oh, nice hook. That was a crippling shot right there. Do it real. Now going to the judo throw. He ends up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can go ground and pop or he can chase the mission. We approach the one minute mark in the first round. And he comes through with a big knee. Oh, Jacasey gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Oh, look at that jab. Snaps his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast, it always brings his hands right back to his face. He's got to be careful dipping his head and throwing that jab. 
has the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Jacase. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so a high-level round there for him. We'll show you some of the action here, and you gotta think the knockdown is gonna be featured prominently here. Thought he might have had him out of there. He thought he had him, but the guy's tough. The guy's durable. He has a fantastic chin, but he just needs to stay the course. He does not need to be discouraged. Think about this. You're winning, and you're winning going away. That was just a moment. Keep going in the same direction, and you will get the finish that you want so bad. Take a deep breath for me, and listen. Okay, let's be tight with our positions. Let's work to get side control, work for that crucifix. Are you ready? You ready? Fight! Conor McGregor gets caught with that punch. Don't be a fan. Transition to the judo throw, right into side control, where he will have no shortage of options. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Just missed with that right hand. Beautiful kick. Oh, huge strike lands there. Somehow, his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming, and before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop this contest at 53 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the notorious Conor McGregor! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory. The hood's still dangerous, goodness, gracious, move like the Gracie one. Don't pay me something. Fed everybody, they don't say me nothing. Still back to the bone from feeders. Their man move misleading. All right, coming up next, it is the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World between Sugar Sean O'Malley and Conor McGregor. That was 
a thudding leg kick. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. here, but misses with the kick. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Sean O'Malley. Well, if you're gonna leave your body that wide open, you're gonna pay the price, and he certainly did there, as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. Oh, effective strike there by McGregor. Left hand punch to the clinch. Oh, big knee. And a knee. Oh, big knee. Five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body, the head, the legs. He gets you. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, good head movement there, nice slip. Good punch lands. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, just takes his punch. He shot every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh! Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. The next with a right. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and oh! He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. McGregor going for the head kick. No dice. Changes his stance. Oh, big left hook there. And they set. Perfect body shot there. He's had it. Unbelievable. That shot landed perfectly. And now he's got his opponent. Big knee to the body. So a much different approach from him here in round two. It took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here and as a result has really picked up the pace in round two. Big kick land. on point. He is a master in transition. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. O'Malley gets in the clinch. And she had a gas. Look at that one block shot. Did that show the power and the power and the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got it. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that big nice. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! Oh! Right under the elbow, right under the hump. It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent react. 
there's another one for the highlight reel. And that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee.